Snow and ice effects can be pretty easy to get right and make images really stand out on the tabletop, but they can also be really easy to mess up as well. So in this very quick video, I'll show you my quick tutorial on how I do snow and ice effects, just to kind of give you guys a better idea of how you can put them onto your miniatures and just how easy it can be. So for this video, I am using the Battlefield Snow by Army Painter. And if you just kind of throw this on there, it looks like all your miniatures have some really serious dandruff. It looks absolutely awful. So to get it looking good, you'll need a couple of extra things. And one of those is this Liquitex acrylic high gloss varnish. Now you can use any high gloss varnish at the end of the day. I've just got this kicking around. Some PVA in ideally probably not a battered bottle like I've got here. And the last one is, and this isn't something that you absolutely need, it's just a nice extra to have, is contrast paint frost heart as well. So let's show you how I did these bases. For this video, I'll be using a mixture of Highlands Miniatures Dwarf Minis and also some Arts and Guild ones that I had kicking around as well, just to demonstrate something extra. So for it, it's really, really simple to do. If you just put PVA on the bases and sprinkle this on, like I said, it just kind of looks dry. It doesn't look icy at all. It looks like some kind of laundry detergent that's been sprinkled on there. So all I do is I get this, the high gloss varnish and some PVA. So first up, I stick some PVA into a little tub and then pour some of the snow effects and sprinkle that on in there. And then the last touch is the gloss varnish, which I then put in there. And the great thing about the gloss varnish is it then gives it this wet, icy look at the end. And depending on how dry you want it or how wet you want that snow to look, obviously you mix it to different ratios. So if you want it to look drier, put more of the speed paint stuff in there. If you want it to look more wet and icy, then put more of the high gloss varnish in there. So it depends what sort of look you are going for. Mix it all together, get a nice consistency, decide on obviously what you're gonna be looking for from your minis, and then you can start putting it on the bases. Now I mentioned having the contrast paint, and this is a step that you can skip if you want to, but I quite like it. All I do is I painted the bases with this, and it gave it this kind of nice bright white blue that goes underneath the snow. And the great thing about this is it looks like this kind of wet, I guess ice, like deep ice that's underneath it, that's reflecting the sun and everything else. And that means that you don't have to go and get complete coverage with all of your snow face. You can kind of give some more like drifty bits around the boots, you can pile it up in certain areas and leave some of that ice showing through. And don't worry, so long as you get some of the wetness of this high gloss varnish over that base, it will give you this nice slick wet ice look afterwards. Obviously leave that to dry and then start dabbing on all of your snow effects. And like I said, you can put like different piles of it on there. You can have it really thin. Depends what you're looking for at the end of the day from your minis. I also put it on the regiment trays as well. And I really like the way this is turned down. Piled it up in different areas to make it look a little bit more natural. So it's not just this flat layer of snow, but it comes off as this really nice snowy look. Now I had these old Artisan Guild dwarves kicking around as well. And what I did with these is they were already textured with like my basing texture that I've done in previous videos, which is basically putting rocky texture onto bases. I went back over there with the frost heart, painted it all blue, and then I went back on and I stuck some of that mix that I'd already made. And the great thing about this one, and again, it's a different look, is it gives the snow just a little bit more volume because it makes it look like there's actual natural rocks underneath it or bits of ice that is sticking out rather than these flat bases. And it just adds a little bit something different. So it depends what sort of look you're going for. Obviously with all things like the regiment, I quite like having all that flat snow. It makes them look like they're walking over some kind of frozen lake that's got snow drifts over it. Whereas these look like they're coming down from the Rocky Mountains and they've got all this snow that's kind of built up on all the different rocks there. So that's it in a nutshell. That's how easy it is to get some nice snow effects. I think it's a really, really easy and effective method. If it looks too dry afterwards, go back in with some of the gloss varnish. You can slap that on there. If you've got anything like rocks that are sticking out as well from underneath it, you can then hit those with some gloss varnish. It gives it a really nice icy shiny look and it's a very easy thing to pull off. If you just sprinkle this on there, it ends up just looking a bit weird. One thing, if you want to make it a little bit dry, if maybe if you've gone too wet and too icy within your mix, you can go back in there and sprinkle some of this on it sprinkle it back on that drying snow and it'll just add this nice kind of fluffy snow on top of it as well so it's not all just super slick and icy. So hope you've enjoyed that video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you used this sort of method before? What sort of way do you make up your snow? Maybe you're doing something different to what I'm doing, maybe something a lot more effective. I'd definitely like to steal that from you. But in the meantime, stay safe, hit the like and subscribe button, come on for some more content in the future and I'll see you soon. Bye.